Hello everyone, I'm Argle Fump. In this video, I will show how to solve all of the puzzles in Living Legends, The Red Trace. The first puzzle is getting inside the chapel, right over here. You need to use the mirrors on this red ivy to trigger the puzzle. So this puzzle comes in a casual mode. As you can see, in casual mode, it's pretty much all done for us. Uh, I will solve the puzzle on hard mode. It's the exact same thing, uh, the, the only difference is that you have to use these rotate buttons to rotate these four corner things. There we go. Ah! And uh, we didn't have to bother rotating this one, it was already in place. That's nice. Uh, next we have the uh, plus minus button. So you want to get all three of these things to be medium size. There are three possible sizes. so. Medium size is the correct one. And then you're gonna move things left and right using the slider bar. So that's in place. That's in place. This needs to go a bit farther left. Come on. That's in place. And that's in place. So casual mode was easier because you didn't have to rotate any of the pieces. They were already uh, mostly in place for you. With this puzzle, you need to move pieces around so the middle row is in place. So we're going to move uh, this piece right once, and this piece right once. See, we have the rightmost piece. Now it's completely finished. We've, we've got the maple leaf. Uh, next, we need to find the piece. Uh, this one. This, goes, this one goes in the next spot. And then this one goes in the leftmost spot. That's how you solve the puzzle. You just need to put those correct pieces in the correct spots. This is a puzzle we'll have to solve multiple times. We need to make matches of three or more in order to get this forest head to the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to start by matching these purples. Uh, you'll notice I got rid of the pieces of ivy. Uh, that helps. I'll get rid of this. Uh, I think I need to match uh, the blue pieces here to get rid of that ivy. Yes, that was correct. So that lets me get rid of these reds. So I can get rid of these purples. I can get rid of these greens to solve the puzzle. This lobster puzzle is pretty difficult. I hope I have the correct solution. Okay, so we are going to click uh, one above the lobster. So it's just one to the left. Now we're going to click one and above the lobster again. Oh man, it keeps moving to the left. Uh, now we're going to click one left of the lobster. One left of the lobster. And uh, one left of the lobster again, right? Excellent. And, and then now uh, the lobster is completely trapped and we can get rid of it by clicking uh, these two squares. Done. Solving the lobster puzzle gives you the tile for this puzzle. <laughs> so, back-to-back -back puzzles. Uh, here you want to move the, the various characters around. Uh, the man is going to be on the left while the child is in the middle. So let's see, the man wears this uh, blue outfit. While the child wears uh, red. And let's get everybody's hair in the right spot. That would that would be a help. And it, it's simple enough. You're just going to be uh, swapping pieces until everybody's hair is uh, in the correct spots. So let's see. That hair goes there. And I, I messed up the top of the mom's hair with the top of the daughter's hair. So that is the correct solution. That's the solution to the puzzle. I suppose this counts as a puzzle even if it doesn't have a skip button. Uh, you want to circle these three items. These are the three items that match the clues uh, about the canary's food. So those are the three things we need to make canary food. Now for this puzzle again, we're going to start with uh, the purples, then uh, the blues, that gets rid of all the ivy on the board. Get rid of these 
these oranges, and then these reds. Let me get rid of these purples, and that gets one token down. So the one token's really easy. Uh, the other token, you just kind of have to get lucky here. Uh, let's get rid of the reds. And, oh, I think I did get lucky. So now I can get rid of the greens. That way I've got a blue here, and I get rid of all those blues. And uh, now I can get rid of all those purples, so that token drops down. We have a puzzle to get these symbols on the cloak. Uh, first, we select this purple symbol, and then this red symbol. That way they match the picture on the left-hand side. Next, we're going to have this symbol, this symbol, and this symbol. Here it looks like the symbol which is on the bottom is uh, this orange symbol, and it's covered up by this purple symbol. Nope, messed up there. I, I mixed the, the red symbol, so it's, it's going to be this, this orange symbol first, then the red symbol, then the purple symbol, and finish with the blue symbol. That's the correct way to solve the puzzle. And now you have the fancy cloak. With this puzzle, you're going to want to click sort of in this order. Every other, every other branch you're going to click the first time through. Now click on the branch, which is one to the right of your starting one. And then again, we're going to click on every other branch. One, two, three. And now I'm going to release this one here and immediately pick it back up, if that makes sense. So now I'm going um, this one, so it's going to be two away from that, two away from that. Immediately pick up this mushroom. I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to put it in and immediately pick it up. I'm going to take this one here. Uh, put it in, pick this up, and this up. I know it's complicated, it's a lot of steps, that's the solution. This puzzle is even more complicated. What you need to do is jump over various berries. So we're, we're going to start with this one here and we're going to move it to the center spot. We're going to take the upper left one and then we're going to move that one. And then we're going to take this one over here. We're going to move it up. Take this upmost one. We're going to move it down. And then this piece I'm going to move up. And this piece across. All right. Next we are going to grab uh, this piece here. And this piece back down. You can see we're, we're sort of clearing up the top. Move this piece up. And this piece right. And then this piece right again. This piece left. Move this down right. This left. This piece right, this middle piece, I'm going to move it up left, this piece right, this piece upright. Okay, we are making progress here. Alright, so this piece is going to go down. Um, that is not correct. I was going to select this piece and I'm going to move it right. So uh, that way I can move this piece up, and then this piece down, and then this piece up, and we're finished with just one piece. There we go. That is the solution to the puzzle. I was a little worried there, because the game wasn't moving for a few seconds. I'm like, oh no, is it going to make me solve it again? No, it doesn't. That's the correct solution. Here's a puzzle which I find a lot easier we are going to move these liquids around. So I'm going to start by putting blue in the lower right. I'm going to put blue in the lower right again. 
And I'm going to put blue in the lower right one more time. So this is almost completely filled with blue. I'm going to have to grab that blue, though, in order to fully get it. So I'm going to put purple here. Actually, you know what? Let's just make purple here. We've got purple in this empty spot. I'll take uh, the purple here in this spot. Now purple's completely filled up. That's nice. So I'm going to put this green over here. That frees up yellow, so I can put, uh, let's see, let's put that yellow there. That way I can put this orange here in the orange. I'll put this red on this red. Again, I'll move the orange on the orange. So orange is almost completely done. I'll put these yellows here. And I'll put the green here. Looking smooth. I'll put the blue into place. And I'll put the two pink containers into place. And you notice I'm pretty much done with this puzzle now. I'll put the green on the green. The orange on the orange. The yellow on the yellow. And I finished by putting the red on the red. Uh, let's see the hard mode version of this puzzle now. So the hard mode, hmm, which color are we going to start with now? Uh, let's just guess and hope for the best. We've got two things that start with orange on top. Maybe that's the best thing to do. Okay, so now we've got uh, green, we'll put the greens together. And we got blue, we'll get those blues together. Let's see, I'll put the purple over here, that way we can get some purples together. Hmm, and let's see, we'll put the, the red here. Looking pretty nice. So, next step is going to be... Getting the, the, no, not the pink. Can't move the green, I can't move, oh, I guess I can move the pink. That's the next step, okay. Pink there, then orange there. Beautiful. So let's see. We're we're gonna put the yellow here, and now all these pinks. Yeah, all those pinks go there. I'm gonna put the red here. Gonna put all the blues there. Good, good. We we are making progress. So I'm gonna have to put the greens here to free up that pink. That frees up the yellow for me. Gonna put the, the purple here. And the purple here as well. I'll put the orange on top of the orange. And look, we've, we've got... We, we, we've basically got this puzzle done. <laughs> All right. Yellow on top of yellow. I'm gonna put the green on top of the green. Bottom row is completely finished. All I have to do is finish by putting the blue on the blue. With this puzzle, we want to get all the tokens in the right spots. So, for example, the sun is going to go in the lower left-hand corner. I have to move the stars to the upper right-hand corner so I can move the sun. I mean, so I can move the cloud in the lower right. Then I can move the stars and the moon into place, thereby completing the puzzle. With this puzzle, you want to make matches. So, uh, this has the left part of a house. That has the right part of a house. This has a part of a wolf, and that has part of pie. Let's see, that has part of a lumberjack, and that has part of a lumberjack, hooray. That has part of a girl, that has part of the wolf. Okay, so wolf and wolf. Girl and pie, no, no, no. Pie and pie, girl and girl, that's the solution to the puzzle. Here's another one of those animal matching puzzles. I'll get rid of the ivy on the left, the ivy on the right, and the ivy in the middle. Alright, so uh, let me get rid of these blues here to drop that one down. Get rid of these reds to drop one right down. And then get rid of all the purples, dropping uh, both of them down. Get rid of these 
pinkish purples to drop the left hand one down. Done! With this puzzle, the fireflies are paired together and they move opposite of each other. So for example, if I move red to the right, orange goes to the left. If I move red down, orange goes up. The good news is that red is now in place and can't be moved, so I can move orange around freely, I can move orange wherever I want. That's crucial to solving this puzzle. Now I'm going to move purple down. I'm going to put orange directly above purple. That way I can move white down to white spot. Uh, purple normally would go up because I'm moving white down, but it can't because I had orange in the way. And that's good because if a, a firefly goes up into the spider, you have to restart the puzzle. So next I am going to move blue right. I'm going to move orange left, so orange is above blue, and I'm going to move yellow down twice. I'm going to move yellow right three times, so yellow is directly above the yellow flower. Again, I'm going to move orange directly above blue, that way blue can't go up to the spider. And I'm going to move yellow down into place. And now, just move everything else into place. Purple goes left and down into place, blue goes right and down into place finish with orange going all the way right and all the way down. That's how you solve the puzzle. We have a puzzle to open up this door. You need to press the stones in this sequence, starting with the bottom right hand corner. So uh, C, V, Z. They sort of look like those letters. C, V, Z. C, V, Z. And we're going to do these three, these three, and these two. And that opens up the secret pathway behind the waterfall. Another animal puzzle. Let's get rid of the vines on the left and the vines on the right. Mm, let's see. I'll get rid of these, uh, these purple ones to get rid of those vines there. Yeah, there we go. Now... That, that wolf head drops all the way to the bottom. Let's hope I can get one of the other ones dropped. Uh, all right, let's clear off all those greens. Clear off these purples here. Clear off those reds, that's great. Now I can drop, uh, drop that wolf head by getting rid of those purples. Next, I need a blue. I need I need to make some sort of blue match here, but I'm not seeing any uh, good blue matches available. Uh, let's get rid of these oranges. There we go. Those reds, these purples, and these blues. Dropping that head down. Right, got them all. With this puzzle. I believe the solution is to click on these four flowers. Let's hope that's correct. So all four of those flowers once. One, two, three, four. Ah, that is the solution. Hooray! This puzzle is the same on casual mode and hard mode. Uh, the difference is you can't really see where you're going on hard mode. It's not that difficult of a maze, though. It's fairly simple. So you're going to go forward twice, and then right, you're going to pick up that item. You're going to keep going right. You're going to go down. You're going to go down into this alcove here to pick up another item. Oh, two items. Nice. Then you're going to go right some more. You're going to use this hammer to break the wall. It gives you a tile. Gonna go right once more. We have this crack. You're gonna use the crystal on the crack to get another tile. Now you're gonna go back left over to this river. You're going to use the plank here so you can cross the river. Just go straight to the wall. This is where all the tiles go. We're still missing one tile, so we're gonna go right. We're gonna grab the tile from there back left, put the final tile into place. This gives us the key. Gonna go right, gonna use the key to open the gate. And then we go forward here. To... 
this is a simple puzzle. You need to rotate the rings. Uh, the middle ring is rotated like this, and the inmost ring is rotated like this. That opens up the bag. With this puzzle, you need to put three pieces onto the sphere, and the fourth piece is always going to be this one. It doesn't seem to matter what order you put the three pieces in, just as long as the fourth piece is last. With this puzzle, you want to make all the wires connect. I find it easiest to start with red, because red only has like three pieces for you to, to connect. Makes it easy. And hey, that kind of... That gets two of the uh, purple pieces into place. So now purple should be relatively easy. Let's see, I'll get a purple here. And then uh, purple here. Yeah, it looks like that's how we have to move purple in order for uh, purple to work. And in order to get cyan in place, we have to move cyan like that. So that's the left-hand side of the board all figured out. Uh, green is going to be a tough one. Green is a tough one, because it's, it's going to be traveling... I think it's going to go like this, right? Because green's going to have to travel across uh, half the board, basically. Uh, green's going to have to pass yellow there. There we go, because green couldn't have been here, because then it would have been touching that blue. So let's see, blue, blue and yellow are going to have to go like that. It's the only piece that could fit there and make blue and yellow still work. So yellow's gonna have to go like this, and then blue is gonna have to go like that. Solving the puzzle gives us a book. With this puzzle, you, you want to slide the various pieces so they're in the correct spots. Like butterfly goes there, and then mushroom goes there, pine cones go there. The casual mode solution is uh, the middle button, and then you're going to click this button four times. One, two, three, and then a fourth time that will get everything into place. The hard mode solution has fewer things for you to play around with. So you're going to press the bottom one, the uh, middle one, and the top one. The middle one, the bottom one, and the top one. Solving the puzzle lets us leave the basement area. With this puzzle, we want to get all the roses to show up like in the picture. So first we're going to start with the left-hand side, and that means starting with orange. Then we're going to go green, red, and white. Next, we're going to get this pink rose in the middle. And we're going to get the green rose on the far right. And then it's going to be this order. Blue, yellow, peach. Blue, yellow, and peach. Now all the roses are in place, just like the diagram. This puzzle is almost like a two-part puzzle. You have to use the trowel to uh, get rid of all the wood. Let's see, what, uh, what am I missing? This piece of wood? That piece of wood, great. Uh, then you put the two oak leaves into place. What you want to do is click the start button and move the leaves around. Looks like none of them were facing the right direction. So I'm going to rotate every single leaf, like so. Now when I press start, they end up in different directions. You notice the bottom two are perfectly in place. So that's good. And there's your solution. That's the direction the leaves need to be facing when you press the start button. The combination is used on the box. It is 1350. A puzzle inside a hidden objects challenge. The solution is to put the pieces like this. We're making a butterfly. Huh? No, no, no. That goes there. That goes there. Yes. All right.
right. The left-hand side is a mirror image of the right-hand side. That's how you solve that particular puzzle. It gives you a rune. This is a puzzle, even if it doesn't have a skip button. What you need to do is click on the correct vines. Just click on the symbols that appear. The symbols are rotated, which makes it a little difficult, but it's an easy enough puzzle to get rid of the vines so we can continue to well the done. next area. You cleared our path. I guess you could call this a puzzle too. We are putting these four pieces into place. It's a very simple jigsaw puzzle. That fixes the amulet. Hooray. The amulet's gonna talk for a bit. Thank you for fixing the amulet. We're gonna skip that dialogue and just give it the ring so we can move on to the next puzzle. Allow me to oh, continue. She's gonna the talk story even more. Family while I very, very talkative. Okay, so uh, now we're going to free Ruby here by using the sickle and use the magic ring for the next puzzle. It's another one of those save the animal puzzles. So we're going to get rid of the vines here on the right and in the middle. And in the middle again. Now we're going to get rid of these reds to drop that one. I'm not seeing any good matches here in the middle. Side. Aha! Great! So that, that cost blues to appear on the left, so I can drop this one now. Now I just need like a purple here. Oh! Ooh, I see a purple there. So let's get rid of all these blues. Hold on a second. All those blues. That way I can get rid of all these purples. Drop that one now. Uh, next, I'm gonna need like some sort of red. Let's me get rid of these purples. Hooray! We did it! We solved the puzzle and saved Ruby! Now she's no longer a deer. She's back to being a human. This is the final puzzle of the main game, and it's pretty tough. We're gonna put the zero up here. I only got this puzzle solution by accident when I was, oh, it was just moving things around at random. So, uh, that's how tough it is. The solution does look uh, a, a little bit like this. See this number three here? I'm going to move the three down. So I'm going to move it down here across this line, and that will be the solution. That's how you solve the puzzle and defeat the evil druid. Here's a simple puzzle. You need to move the outer ring uh, counterclockwise, like this. Just move it counterclockwise a few times and all the birds line up perfectly. That way you can use the hairpin to open up the bird cage. There is a puzzle to capture the spirits. You do this by moving the four pieces of the net all over the board. Once uh, all the spirits are asleep in the net, Catch them. We are going to have to do this challenge three times. Let's see. Like this. The last time it's easiest if you make a backwards letter Z like this. actually catch the gotcha. spirits. Well, I mean, okay, fine. The scene shows the spirit being caught, but no, 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 no. The, the whole point of solving that puzzle was so you could get this basket. We have a simple puzzle here inside Granny's house. We need to move these books around in order to form a picture of a wolf, and it's not too difficult. It looks like that. We have a slider puzzle to open up this carriage. So I think I move this up, and then this right, this left, so I can move this all the way up, and these two left, that way I can move this one down, and go straight for the exit. This time, I think I have to move this one up, these left, these down, this goes all the way left, this one at the top here. These ones up all the way, and I can move this one right to the exit. 
this is another two-part puzzle. We need to get through this area without being attacked by wolves. As you can see, those wolves are moving in regular patterns. Oh no! You don't want to get caught by a wolf, obviously. So as long as you uh, stay out of the wolf's way, you'll be fine. So I'm going to go to the upper left-hand corner to get that bucket of water, and then I'm going to run down over here to the lower left. I use it on the fire. And I'm going to grab that feather duster, and I'm going to run over to the feather... I mean the spiderweb area. Here I'm going to be running around the bottom right-hand corner in order to get that hunk of meat. I will feed that hunk of meat to the bear. This is a good place to sit and wait for the wolf to move out of the way. So this time I need to travel to the bottom left hand corner to get an apple for the hedgehog. Then I need to grab this torch here on the upper right. Go to the bottom here. Use the torch to get through that dark pathway. That's going to give me the hammer. No wolves in the bottom right, so it's pretty safe there. I managed to break away from the wolves. And that leads us there. to a brand so new area. I need to With this puzzle, you need to open the tube by arranging the animals from smallest to the largest. So mouse, then owl then wolf, and then bear. That's how you open it. With this puzzle, you're going to press the three symbols. It's very simple. Uh, top, bottom left, and bottom right. You're going to use the grappling hook over here. You need to move it up left using this one in the middle. And then you're just going to move it up using this one on the far left. That's how you reach your target and open up a hidden objects challenge. With this puzzle, you want to rotate the various stars so they're touching in color. So it, it, it's simple, because at the bottom, the only matching color is red, so that's the only possible thing. I guess maybe yellow? Nah, it, it, red, red. It's red at the bottom. So that, that sets what the other ones must be. This one must be yellow. And this one must be purple, meaning this one must be green, and that one's blue. And that's how we open up amulet. that container. It once protected me from... With this puzzle, the trick is moving uh, the yellow one all the way to the left-hand side. Yeah, and that completely balances the left-hand side. Now let's get the right-hand side balanced. Let's see, what if I do that? Oh, this one's a little too heavy. Let's... Let's swap for a middle and then swap the outside ones. Uh, still a little too heavy. All right, let's see. There we go. That's it. That's the solution to the puzzle. The final puzzle of the game is a variation of the puzzle where we were curing animals. What you need to do is make matches of three or more to clear the entire board. So if I make all these reds here. Uh, no other tiles will drop from the top to fill up the board. That's how it's different. So now we're going to make these like blues. We're going to make all these purples. We get all these blues. All the greens. And the yellows. select all four at the same time. <laughs> all those, uh, then all the reds, all the yellows, all the purples, let's get all the greens. We are going to finish with this one. Looks like all the reds. All 
all the greens. All the yellows. Should be able to get all the light blues here like that. This looks kind of tricky, so I'm just going to get the... Oh, wait, no. All the purples. All the purples. You can get all the purples in one go. And then you can get all the blues. Hooray! That wakes up Margaret. And uh, that's how you solve... Uh, I'm going to have to skip through this. Uh, that's how you solve all the various puzzles in Living Legends, The Red Trace. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos for this game. I've also got a playlist with all of the various videos where I'm just solving puzzle after puzzle after puzzle. And I've played a lot of puzzle games like Professor Layton, uh, the entire Professor Layton series. So thank you for watching again. Goodbye.